Salima residents now facing numerous threats and another newer one involves lava approaching a major power plant. What can you tell us about that? That's right, Jennifer. As the explosions really rock the big island, it is this lava that is creeping onto the site of a geothermal plant that actually uses the energy from the volcano to change it into electricity. So frantic workers are had to rush down to actually shut the plant, worried about the release of toxic gases. Nearly 200,000 litres of flammable gas was removed earlier this month from the plant really to reduce the risk of I explosions. And somehow the lava actually stalled on a level plot path right near the edge of the plant. So that is pretty dramatic stuff happening on the Big Island. Really just one of the threats, like you mentioned, from, from Kilauea. Another is the lava itself that is just spewing out of the volcano and the consistency of the lava is changing. It's not as thick as it was before, so it is more runny and that means it can move much faster, pouring out just really like a fountain. It's already destroyed at least 40 structures, 2,000 people still unable to go home and they're really getting more and more worried about this. Here's what they had to say. My whole being is just um, vibrating. Uh, I barely sleep at night from the ground moving and all the sounds and the energy and the life force. It's saddening and uh, you know, we can continue to try to videotape and take pictures and hope and pray that uh, things will be okay. Two cats, they wouldn't leave so I said goodbye to them <sighs> and everything else. So it's really that sense of hoping and praying as they watch more and more threats coming out of this volcano. And now, Salima, officials are also warning about that other threat they refer to as lays. What more can you tell us about that? Yeah, the word is actually a mashup of lava and haze. It is really the, just the latest threat. You know, there was the lava first, then there was the acid rain, the VOG, and then the toxic gas. Well, this is lays. It's the chemical reaction that actually comes when 2,000 degree lava hits the cooler ocean water. So what exactly does it do? I want to show you uh, aboard with that information. Uh, that crash of lava and sea just sends clouds of hydrochloric acid into the air mixed with fine particles of glass, and that creates acid rain. That's actually as corrosive as diluted battery acid. So even just a wisp of this lays can cause irritations for the eyes and the lungs. It can be deadly. So officials are warning mainly people who are near where the lava is entering the ocean on the southern coast to just be careful whether they're on land or on boats. Uh, the masks that they're giving out don't really protect against the hydrochloric acid. And where the plume goes really depends on the direction of the wind. So that is one of the things officials are warning about. And plus the toxic gases from the lava coming out of the volcano is just getting worse. Actually, officials say sulfur dioxide emissions have tripled and they're just watching. They have no idea when this is going to stop. Hmm, no end in sight. Thanks for this, Salima.